Are you tired of feeling like you're not equal in your relationship with your significant other? I can certainly tell you that I have had times throughout my relationship where I did not feel equal. I was a stay-at-home mom. I didn't go out and earn money. So I felt, and it was my own belief system that told me that if I wasn't earning money, that I wasn't as worthy or as equal to my spouse. And consequently, this went hand in hand with wearing a people pleaser mask. Wearing the people pleaser mask will lend to one feeling like you cannot speak up and have a say speak up and ask for what you want, set boundaries, and all of this can play into you not feeling like you're equal in the relationship. So I have done so much inner work over the years to get to a place where I have created my five-step power pathway so that I could A, take myself, like I'm being selfish here, I wanted to have a process for myself for healing my own inner child wounds that created or lent, lent me to being a people pleaser. It was a matter of protection at one point when I wore the people pleasing mask, but now it ends up being where it imprisons me so that it's a people pleasing prison. And I didn't want to live that way anymore. I wanted to be free. And I needed to be able to speak up and speak out and be my own sovereign self and have my paradise. So I created this process, love all the peas, created this process that takes me and others, clients, from what used to be a protective mask to a people-pleasing or perfectionistic prison going through the five-step power pathway to come out on the other side and have a paradise. What's possible in paradise is absolute freedom, like freedom and sovereignty and peace and joy. If you're interested in finding out more about this, I invite you to just let me know in the comments section or just share with me, are you in a people-pleasing perfectionist prison? Are you looking for support? Are, what is your biggest struggle? Share with me, I would love to know.